All right, in this video, I'm going to show you the spot on the wall trick. And this is used by a lot of top players, and it's a simple little trick that once you learn, you'll be doing it all the time. And it's a little trick for going three rails and pocketing a ball that's in the corner pocket. Or you can hit a ball that's on a rail. So the first thing you want to do when you come to a strange table is put the cue ball in a corner pocket. For this video, I'm going to put it in the bottom left hand corner pocket. And now, I'm going to shoot toward the second diamond on this rail with running English. And on most tables, if you can aim toward that second diamond, the cue ball will end up in the other corner pocket. So here's another view. I'm going to be aiming toward this second diamond here and going three rails and ending up in the corner pocket with running English. Now on your table, it may be below the second diamond or it may be above the second diamond, but just kind of keep track of where you have to hit on this rail to end up in this corner pocket. So what you want to do is you want to draw a line from the back of this corner pocket where the cue ball is toward the spot on this rail that you have to hit to go three rails. In this case, it's a second diamond. And you want to follow this line as far as you can go. And in this case, I'm going to follow the line all the way to the wall. And as we can see, that line goes straight to a spot that's on the wall. And that's why they call this trick the spot on the wall. So you need to find something that's on the same line as this corner pocket and the spot that you need to hit to go three rails along this long rail. And for me, I have two items that are directly on this line. I have the spot on the wall and I have the water bottle. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna use the water bottle. If you're playing in a bar or a pool hall, you can either use a spot on the wall or you can use a stool, part of a table, part of a painting. Uh, you can use a water glass, anything that's probably going to be there for a little while. It doesn't really matter what it is, as long as it's on the same line as that corner pocket and the spot in this long rail that you need to hit to go three rails. And the reason this is so important that you find an object that's on that same line is because no matter where the cue ball is now on the table, if you can just aim toward that object with running English, you're going to end up in the corner pocket. So here, the cue ball is in the middle of the table, but I know that if I can aim toward this water bottle with running English, the cue ball will end up in the corner pocket. So if I'm playing a game of nine ball, my opponent has me snookered, I know that if I can aim toward this object with running English, I can go around the table and either hit or pocket the one ball. Here, the only option I have is to go three rails and pocket the one ball. So I know that if I can just aim at that water bottle with running English, I can go around the table and pocket the one ball. And here's another example where if I can just aim toward the water bottle, I can go around the table and pocket the one ball. And the ball you're hitting doesn't have to be in the corner pocket. Here, I need to hit the one ball, but I know that if I aim toward that water bottle, the cue ball is going to go around the table and head toward the corner pocket. And I know that if the cue ball is heading toward the corner pocket, it's probably going to strike the one ball. And here's another example where I need to strike the one ball, and I'm gonna go one, two, three rails and hit the one ball and hopefully play safe. And I know that if I were to aim toward that water bottle, this cue ball would go around the table and head toward the corner. So knowing that information, I know that the cue ball will probably strike the one ball as it heads toward the corner pocket. Now, if I want to strike a ball that's on, say, the first diamond, which this ball is here, here is what I have to do. And I know that if I aim toward the water bottle with running English, the cue ball will end up in the corner pocket but I need to hit a diamond above the corner. So now I see that that first diamond here is on the same line as the cue ball and water bottle. So I'm just gonna subtract the distance of a diamond 
And instead of shooting at the first diamond, I'm going to shoot at the second diamond with running English. Now, when you get done with this video and you want to take your game to an even higher level, go to my website, www.0x-billiards.com. I've got the best kicking video out on the market, bar none. It's got one rail kicks, two rail kicks, three rail kicks, end rail kicks, side rail kicks, and it's the only video on the market that contains a 0x kicking system. The easiest system in the world for kicking, and you don't have to be a mathematician to do it.